Okay, so here's the deal. Uh, it's Saturday, the 31st of January, and Cameron's not here. He had to fly back to Nebraska for a family thing, and he won't be back till Tuesday. And I realized this morning that I don't know how to hang out by myself. It's terrible. Last night, I had a dinner of some string cheese and a piece of pie which sounds great, except it wasn't enough food. And I was so hungry when I went to bed, but I couldn't be bothered to get anything to eat. And um, it's about 1.30. I got out of bed a half hour ago. I woke up a few hours ago. I just couldn't get out of bed. And now I've decided that I need to get food and it needs to be more than what I can make myself. So I am driving myself to the Habit because I need Habit Burger. And then I will probably go to Starbucks and I will buy myself some coffee. <sighs> I mean, it doesn't help that it's raining for the third day straight here in Phoenix. And I hate rain. Cameron loves it, but he's not here to enjoy it. He's getting snow. <sighs> but I'm just, it's so gloomy and dark. I miss the sun. Anyway, I'm at Habit, and apparently the Habit I chose has a Starbucks right next to it, so. Score! Lunch was successful, and now I have my coffee. Well, it's a, it's a chai latte. Which I know it technically isn't coffee, but I don't care. It's delicious. I realized when I was watching Vlogmas videos from last month, I say delicious weird. I don't say it weird, but I... I put a lot of emphasis on the ish. It's delicious. It's delicious. I put the ish in delicious. Oh, drive home. Go home. That's what I'm gonna do. I really like this song, but all it really does is remind me of Suzanne Vega and just makes me want to listen to that music again. And I'm back home. If any of you were wondering, this is the book that I'm reading that I brought with me to Starbucks. Sabriel by Garth Nix. I've heard some good things about it. I've had this book on my shelf for years and I've never gotten around to it, so... I decided that it was going to be one of the books on my read 10 books resolution list. Didn't say that right. Um, it's actually the second book that I've read so far this year. The first book is Smut by Alan Bennett. Uh, you can probably guess the subject matter. Um, it's actually two short stories, but I'm going to count both of them as one book because they were really small. Um, I did make up a list of the rest of my resolutions. I have five. Five big ones that I definitely want to do this year. First one you already know, read ten books. The second one is become familiar with all of the art supplies I own. That's a lot. Um, the, uh, the biggest one is I have a lot of Chinese calligraphy brushes and books and ink and quill pens and things like that that I've never used. I've gotten them as gifts from people and I've just n never gotten around to opening them and using them because I'm not at all familiar with how to. It's one of the things I want to do this year. Make it all the way to D-Term on Duolingo. I am teaching myself French with the Duolingo app and uh, D-Term, I have no idea what that stands for, it's an abbreviation. Um, whatever is 20 levels away from where I am now. And I started this about a year ago, and I did 17 levels last year. So I feel like it's a good, you know, keep at it goal. Uh, number four, make a video that I'm really proud of. While I was doing Vlogmas, I kept thinking that there were tons of video topics that I wanted to do that were more serious and more planned out. Things that I would need to script and, uh, you know, take some time with editing. And ever since I made the last video I made, the Happy Bubble Tag, I have been chomping at the bit to make another one. 
but I can't seem to bring myself to do it. I even filmed one of them and I, I didn't like it as I was doing it, so I did not edit it and I'll probably just delete it. Um, I think the problem is that I'm not very good at videos yet, you know, it's very new and I'm still learning stuff. And if I do something I really, really care about, it's not going to be as good as I want it to be. I just got to get over that because it's, no matter what I do, it's not going to be as good as I want it to be because I'm still figuring stuff out. And, um, you know, I just have to make it the best that I can. So this year I want to make, I want to have made at least one video that I'm really proud of. Number five, edit my NaNoWriMo novel before November. I really liked this year's NaNoWriMo novel, and I really want to keep going with it. I want to try and make another revision of it. So, edit it before November. So I've got my chai latte and my book, Sabriel, and right now I'm going to sit down and I'm going to read for a bit. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, here we go. For Christmas, I got a DIY ukulele. A build-it-yourself ukulele. They give you all of the parts, and uh, you have to have like wood glue and maybe sandpaper and stuff like that. And you get to build it yourself. I've already done the first step, which is uh, gluing the neck to the body. And I'm only going to do one step today because it's another gluing step that requires for it to dry. Hi, cat. How's it going? Yeah. Okay, so my video cut out. I think it timed out. I don't think smartphones are meant to do long videos. But it's okay because I did it. <laughs> it looks like a badly bandaged uh, person from war. Um, which is what I was going for. So I used way too much glue. FYI. But it's okay, I wiped most of it off. And now it is going to rest like that. Maybe I'll put something that weighs here so that it'll just press down on it. Wipe off a little bit more of the excess glue because you didn't quite get it all because you're a sloppy, sloppy person. Um. And then it says to sit for at least a half hour, but I really want it to be solid, so I'm probably just going to leave it overnight. Ukuleles! Uh, Alright, I've had a nice relaxing evening, and now I'm out to go and get myself dinner, because I know that if I don't go and get myself dinner right now, I will just have cheese for dinner and go to bed hungry. Um, I think vlogging today really helped with my being by myself because I felt like I had to do something because I had to vlog about something. I had to go out and get Habba Burger and Starbucks because otherwise there wouldn't be anything to vlog about. So thank you guys. And then I'll come home and I'll edit this video and then I'll upload it. Bye.